never, ever, forever. There's a thunderstorm in my pocket, and jagged light strikes are what used to be in my eyes, but now resemble something like Kubrick's monolith. A pair of monoliths, circadic, processing light, altering my outlook on veganism as I dip my tiniest toe into the celebrity chasm, processing exhaustively forever, processing meaning until meaningless dawns like a grey sun becoming humdrum. A monochrome sun is replaced by a chameleon with rainbow coloured scales, chasing its tail in the Stygian sky, enrapturing everyone who looks upon its lizardy divinity to marvel and say, ah, this lizard exchanges colour for colour constantly until it is formless, intangible like depression. Wearing the guise of freedom and self-expression, silence is a sin, silence is a sin. These whispers burrow underneath my skin like adorable parasites as we lose sense of what is nonsense and suddenly our sense of quintessence is a sex robot thrusting and vocalising a tone, a tone, sounds like C-3PO on his deathbed a tone, a tone for what you left unsaid a tone, a tone for what you did not perform one way or another under the voracious eye of Ford, a big brother Big brother protects Big Brother watches over. Big Brother's super cool. Big Brother gets you out of scraps behind the bike sheds after school. Big Brother would never hurt you. Not when you've gifted him your hand, your fingertips, that he will lick. When you're basking in his happy dust tricks, when you're tripping, he will taste the tracks of your palms and siphon your dreams into his pixelated void. Big Brother would never hurt you. He's watching, like that chameleon in the Stygian sky, with his 360 degree eye, roaming, always roaming, forever watching, never, 